Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Damn, that was too good. I made that nigga too good. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Straight ahead, we've got a good one.
EA Sports coverage of the National Football. We've got a good NFC matchup on tap. We are about 10 miles or so southwest of downtown Los Angeles at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Los Angeles Rams and their Southern California rivals, the Los Angeles Chargers. The kicker, Dustin Hopkins, set to get this one going. And we are underway in Southern California. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. <laughs> Stafford going to give this to Akers. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Now a first down throw, Stafford, flushed out right. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup, and he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. He was out there waving his arms, and when you get a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Flush to his right. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. Stafford. Going up top for Cup, and he's got it. That's Cup for a Ram touchdown. Cooper Cup, 30 yards, and the Rams take it right down and score on the opening drive. Not a bad way to start it. And I think that that was part of their script because so many teams script their opening possessions, and, and whether it's just that possession or even deeper into the half, sometimes it's 15 to 30 plays. That had to be one in there where they call a shot play. Go for the big one, and they got it done. 
Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Here's Roberts to bring it out of the end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. Well, he gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. On first down, it's Herbert. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Here's Herbert. Going back to Allen. He's got him again. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. <laughs> Herbert on first down now. Wide open. It's Allen complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. <laughs> Herbert back to the air. And that is incomplete here. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Allen's got it complete. And they'll get this down to the 10. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked out before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Out of the gun, Herbert. Touchdown, Chargers! Jared Cook, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Now a play fake it at Stafford. Steps away to his left. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Now Stafford forced out to his left. Slings one that's incomplete. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. Look at this shot for Woods, and it's intercepted. Derwin James with a pick and a return across midfield and to the 46 yard line. Two seconds to go, first quarter. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked off at the 38. And the Rams are going to get possession of the football as time will run out on this first quarter of play. 
These two teams all tied after one. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Again, it'll be Akers. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can. But this is third and goal. Akers. They push forward, but I don't think it's enough. He's going to be about a yard short. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. They're going to run this with a tight end. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Bryson Hopkins. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Rams have taken the lead. And oh, it's no good. For the second time now in this first half, he's missed an extra point. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Here's Roberts to bring it out of the end zone. Roberts electing not to try it, and this will come out to the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Seven yards, the pick up there. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Play fake to Eckler. It's Herbert. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. On first and ten, Herbert. This is swung out to Eckler, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They'll fake the handoff, now Herbert. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker, because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Back to throw here, Herbert. Eluding the pressure right. And that's complete to the right side, it's Allen. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 42. To the air again, Herbert. And his throw is going to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Second and ten. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. Oh, very close to a turnover there in the end zone. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some Dutch. Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 14. 
And he's able to get it back to right around the 27th. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. Dancing to his left. That'll be caught. It's come. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A big play that time through the air. 34 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Here's Stafford. Flushed out right. And I think the ball's out. And picked up by the Chargers. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so adept, though, at jarring it free. Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. On first down, Justin Herbert. And this is Cook with a grab. And all the way down inside the 5 to the 4. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Second and goal from the one. They give it off here to the tight end. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Steven Anderson as the first half is winding down. And the Chargers are an extra point away from moving out in front. Hopkins with the extra point. And that will give them the lead here as we get on towards halftime. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. It's a squibber picked up around the 27. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. That's out to the flat for Akers. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. shot before the break Stafford being chased out left they'll get this one to cop complete and he makes it all the way down to the 19 first half in the books you're watching the NFL on EA Sports welcome back Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three 
So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. Here's Roberts to bring him out of the end zone. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. And Charles, they've got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, there were three talking points at the half, partner. All of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly harped on it, but I think they told them, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, you got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now it's Herbert. Throws left side complete to Keenan Allen. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Herbert throwing again. And this is thrown to the sideline. No receiver in the area, though, and that's going to bring out a flag. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. They lose the yardage, and, of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Herbert now. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides, and there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. A field goal gets them closer, but they say no thanks. We want the lead. Here we go on fourth. Herbert sliding out of the pocket. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. On Herbert, his third interception. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And the Rams are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Could you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Back to throw, Stafford. He'll check this down to Akers out of the backfield. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Akers has got the first down and then some. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. down Stafford here he'll dump this off to Akers and this winds up a gain of four to the 41 again it's Stafford and he gets this one inside the 15 just a yard or two shy of the 10 Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. They'll run on first down with Akers. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. 
He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of nine yards. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Cam Akers taking it in from four yards out. And the Rams are going to jump back in front. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. They'll try and run it here. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Here's Roberts to bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Charger drive about to get going. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball. But for there he goes, left side. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Josh Palmer, 77 yards. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this ball game. Here are the final moments of the third quarter. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that will tie our game here in the third. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Powell now to take it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first down, he'll stay with Akers on the ground. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Yeah, this all oh, incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. The Rams on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. To throw at Stafford. And this one is incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. On fourth down, Stafford buying time to his left. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. Herbert. Oh, no, he lost the football. But a Chargers player was able to fall on it, and they'll keep possession. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. Throwing on second and long. Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. 
And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And, Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. From the gun, here's Stafford. Steps away to his left. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Stafford on first down. Flush to his right. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's a run with Akers on second down. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Throwing a Stafford. Forced out to his left. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got a boat down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Second and five now. Stafford dancing to his left. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Nasir Adderley. And the Chargers will take over here at their own 12-yard line. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick. Whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or at worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone and that allows a defense to tighten up their coverage and they pick that one off. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. On second and 11 now, Herbert. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 16. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. In a tie game fourth quarter, that's about as big of a defensive play as you can possibly make. And it didn't happen by accident. That was that was scouting right there. They've seen things that have happened before. They knew in certain situations the type of plays they like to run, read it, and were able to go after the football, get it, and take it into the end zone for a touchdown for themselves. Important extra point up and through, and they will take a seven-point lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. Herbert going to throw. On the screen, this is Eckler. Now room for Eckler. And all the way up to the 45-yard line. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Herbert. 
And to the right side here, it's Allen. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw there complete to Allen. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Here's a quick throw caught by Allen. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. Now Herbert. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Throwing Herbert. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. Five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. Well, no doubt an electrifying finish to have it down inside the 10-yard line. That final shot, though, they couldn't get it in the end zone.